welcome back to my youtube channel uh, so in today's video i have invited sarang kumar who is currently doing his phd at the university of agar he did his uh, masters from triple a dm So to start with the video, let Saran uh, introduce himself, his background, uh, and his journey from bachelor's to master's to uh, PhD uh, in University of Agder. So Saran, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you, thank you very much uh, for inviting me for this uh, talk. Uh, so yeah, I'll start from uh, my master's degree. Basically, I did uh, my master's in uh, wireless communication uh, in communication systems. Before that, I completed my uh, Bachelor's from uh, Kalislingam University uh, in 2013. Uh, okay. That was in electronics and communication engineering. So I cleared gate and then I got uh, admission at uh, IIIT DM mm. um, in 2015. And uh, then yeah, I worked under uh, Dr. Chelivaras for my uh, master's project. And uh, yeah, after that. Uh, um i tried uh, means like for research i was like interested in uh, r and d from long time so uh in my mind back in my mind it was there that i have to do my uh, phd but uh, i was not sure that i will do from india or from where after that uh, my masters have been completed i joined uh, uh vignan university that's a deemed university uh, in guntur andhra yeah. pradesh as an assistant professor for one and a half year so i taught uh, in their sister sister uh, institute it's called uh, vignan slara institute of uh, science and technology okay so i taught there for two year uh, one and a half year and uh, mm -hmm. then uh, while teaching there i realized that okay yeah, i want to do uh, phd from abroad so that was uh, the time when i started applying uh, all the places yep i got like uh, three four offers uh, from different university but then at the end i uh, chose uh, norway uh, because of my supervisor the supervisor under whom i am working here is like very uh, very nice guy and uh, very friendly and he supports uh, a lot so yeah so and uh, his uh, international reputation and his experience is very vast so that's why i uh, joined here so what was your uh, admission procedure there for phd ah yeah so basically um, first i'll talk about uh, what is the uh, admission process in norway yeah. and then i'll talk about like okay how it happens uh, it uh, at uya at university of agder okay so basically basically uh, if you see the phd phd degrees from all over the world here is different okay uh, if you if you see phd's in phd which we do in india in us these are like kind of uh, you know degrees means here also is degrees but here they don't take you as an student they consider you as a employee okay but if you go to usa canada or if even though if you do in india uh, you will uh, you will be getting some stipend like around 31000 people get right right now that is the stipend uh, yeah everybody is getting um yeah otherwise if you don't have visuary scholarship for visuary scholarship you will get uh, more than 34 31000 so uh, so here uh, this phd is a research job okay so suppose yeah suppose if uh, some people got the admission in phd but they didn't get the scholarship then it's very difficult for them to like finance themselves you know uh, okay. any 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 part of the world because if you see any developed country like australia uk um, usa even though europe okay. everywhere uh, the the tuition fee and everything when you convert uh, from your indian currency is like a lot so if you are not getting scholarship then it's like very difficult for you to okay. like uh, finance yourself yeah okay. and uh, that that too i am only talking about tuition fee then after that you have like accommodation then uh, you have living expenses so a lot of things are there so everything will like um, will Be, will be like a burden you know if you'll not get a scholarship yeah. so that was one of the good thing which i found out in some of the countries here in europe like norway mm -hmm. and um, denmark mm -hmm. so these country don't uh, consider you as a phd student they consider you as a researcher yeah. 
yes sir so i'm so that is the main difference between phd at norway and phd at other places yeah, you are getting you a salary in a research assistant or like a research teaching assistant no no nothing you. nothing you are you no no nothing you are doing your phd phd only you are doing your uh, research only which you you, you uh, which you have signed for but mm-hmm. you are here for 3 year of contract that okay. means your employment will be here for 3 years of 3 uh, years mm-hmm. uh, on temporary basis like uh, in india we have this timeline right for phd minimum 3 maximum 5 3 to 5 years yes yes some some people do more than that also but like that's the timeline mm-hmm. but uh, here uh, it's like a contract basis because you're getting a salary mm-hmm. per month you're getting a salary there is mm-hmm. no stipend and the salary is like very good mm-hmm. it's a very good that means uh, Uh, you'll not get that much uh, salary in India after having ten years of experience. Also, mm-hmm. so, so yeah, that's a good so thing. that is very, yeah, that's a very good thing because if you are coming from a, a lower middle class uh, background, mm-hmm. uh, you know that it's like difficult uh, for parents to uh, support you in your higher studies, right? For masters and uh, for uh, PhDs, uh, that that too in foreign countries. In yeah. India is fine. but mm-hmm. in foreign countries like very very difficult mm-hmm. so that's why um, if uh, we we have some kind this kind of like uh, program where like you are you are uh, you are working as an employee you it's like uh, they are considering this phd as a job and you are getting per month salary that means you are take not only taking care of yourself you are taking care of your family you are taking that's care it. of everything so you do not have to be like uh, men uh, will be like thinking okay uh, i have to pay the tuition fee Yes. you know and second thing is that in norway the tuition fee is zero you do not have to pay a single tuition fee yes, yes. so that is like second advantage whatever the salary you are getting it's like uh, you are uh, you have to use on yourself mm-hmm. and uh, that's it and uh, you you can save a lot so that is uh, very good thing so that's the difference uh, which you will get it here